All right, what we're going to talk about in this uh, segment is a dead short in the treadmill. So basically what happens is you turn your treadmill on at the power switch in the front of the treadmill and boom, it trips the housebreaker. Everybody has tripped a housebreaker with something getting jammed in the vacuum or something getting wet, um, you know, an appliance on the... Uh, on the stove top or, or near the sink, something like that. So we've had to go to the breaker box and reset the breaker. So in this particular case, turn on the treadmill, Kaflui, blown breaker. So first thing you always want to look at when, although tripping, if the ground was not present, a lot of the times it would not trip the breaker. But, you know, always look at your, your power cord, make sure it's got the ground on it. That's what's actually uh, in many circumstances making the breaker trip. The breaker tripping is a really good thing because if it didn't trip, a lot of the times you could have a fire. So, you know, breaker tripping is a good thing. Interrupting that, that circuit is a really good thing. Make sure your ground prongs are present on your power cords for your treadmills. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a closer look inside the treadmill and try to identify and isolate where our short could be. Um, what I normally do when I have this situation is locate my power input wires. This is basically the two legs of my hot neutral coming through the treadmill here and into this motor control. This is line voltage. This is the same thing that's coming out of the wall. So with the treadmill turned off or unplugged, we're gonna unplug these right here and then flip the switch back on the treadmill and more than likely, the breaker will not trip. More, more times than not, the short is located in this drive board. Now if the breaker does trip, we know that it is something behind these connection points. So it's either in these wires in the filter, I've never seen a filter short, in the switch or, you know, a lot of the times it's a chafed wire and it's grounding to the frame. So when we unhook this, we're isolating both the board and the power input. Now what happens with the breaker is what tells us where the short is or isn't. So if the breaker does not trip, then we know the short is somewhere in the board or a component that is attached to the board. Normally when it's a component attached to the board, we can identify the component because it will trip the breaker when we command the component to operate. In other words, if it's in the lift motor, if it's in the lift motor here, and you know, of course this will be plugged in, we command the lift motor to move the circuit breaker will trip. Or as soon as we press speed up the dry, on the drive motor, the circuit breaker will trip. So if we wanted to isolate that and try to find which one it was, we would just start unplugging components one at a time. We turn on our breaker. We turn on our power switch, rather. If the breaker trips, well, it's not in that. So I'm going to plug this back in. Unplug the drive motor, turn it on. Breaker still trips, well, it's not in the drive motor. So we're doing all these things to try to isolate a bad component. Normally, what, what we find is that it's just somewhere in the lower board. And by unplugging these wires and then turning on the power switch of the treadmill, the circuit breaker in the house does not blow, okay? we know that everything from here back is good, is not shorted, and that our short is somewhere in here. And if we were to unplug everything from this board and plug this back in, turn it on and it still shorts, we know it's definitely in this board because none of the components are plugged in. So it can't be any of the components. But normally it is only in the component when you see the component trip the breaker when the component is activated. So the housebreaker will trip when the lift motor is activated or the housebreaker will trip when the drive motor is activated. And by activated, I mean 
you're on the treadmill, you press speed up, the housebreaker goes. Or as soon as the treadmill motor starts to turn, everything's working fine, it starts to turn, the housebreaker trips. Or you're on the treadmill and you incline up and it moves, the treadmill moves up a little bit, elevates, and the housebreaker trips. These little things will tell you and point you in certain directions. But most of the time, your short is going to be in the motor control or in the power entry unit um, on one of the wires or one of the components on the power entry. Thanks.